Good morning, Floss Tube. I'm Christy, and this is my channel, Java Girl Stitches, and this is Floss Tube number 64. So, welcome back. I'm happy to be back with you guys again. I hope you guys have had a great month, um, that you're happy, that you're healthy, and that you're getting all the stitching done that you would like to. Um, so just really quick, we're going to jump right in, um, just a little bit of a life update, and then I have a lot to share with you guys today. So sit back, um, I hope you'll join me and relax and have your tea or coffee stitch, and I'm just glad you're here spending some time with me here today. So um, a little bit of what's been going on, Anna did come, and it was wonderful. It was so nice to see her, and we had such a good time. Um, we went to Stitcher's Paradise for market day. Um, Fiona was over here all week with us, which was wonderful. And last year, uh, Fiona and I got to go to market um, day at our LNS. And this year, Anna was here at the perfect time. So on Saturday, we went up there and we had a field day. <laughs> it was amazing. If you can get to go to a market day at your LNS, I highly recommend it. Um, we, um, so they had everything in the back. So we ha got all the patterns that we wanted and then we were getting floss. Um, I, we did meet a, some other super, super nice ladies that live here in town and they do have a floss tube too. And I'm sorry, ladies, I cannot remember your name with all the chaos that was going on and what, um, floss tube you have. So if you're watching, put it in, um, the comments cause I want to, uh, Ugh. watch your floss tube and I would love to meet up with them again they were hilarious we were in the back so in the back they have like the Lizzie Kate patterns the extra ones and like Bent Creek and Art and Heart and Hand so I'm just going you know I market shopped and then I was just going through everything else and these ladies were so funny they're like what you got over there so we're just chucking patterns in each other's little baskets and it was great um and then we just came home and sat and just stared at our haul and tried to decide what we wanted to stitch first. Um, and then on Monday, Anna, she was like, I can't come home without all the floss for all of this. So she's like, we need to go up there again. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, you know, I need a little bit of floss. And it was like, I don't know, I just found more patterns again in the back. So um, yeah, we, we had a good time, but we did a lot of shopping there. Um, and then we also, um, Fiona, I made something for both the girls, which I'm starting on mine now, uh, stitching, and then I'm gonna um, do it into the finish that I did the same as theirs, so all three of ours match. Um, and then Fiona brought us, look, it's a little tiny trash can, and she put chocolate in it, of course, but this is from the Dollar Tree, but once the chocolate's gone, how cute would this be for like an ort jar to keep your orts in? I mean, I just thought this was the cutest thing. I was so excited over this. Um, and they do have different colors, but I mean, the wheels move. I mean, I thought this was the cutest thing ever. So absolutely love this. Thank you, Fee. And we also, so Fiona has been making a lot of floss rings lately. That is her uh, new hobby or obsession, I should say. So she brought all the stuff over and we got to make our own. So there's one, oops, there's another one. That looks kind of weird and spotty, but it's not. Oop, this one. And then of course a hot cocoa one. And you can buy all the things for these on Amazon and I will put a link in there um, for those. But, um, we wanted to try those and do them with her and they're so easy and they were so much fun. And then um, for them, besides the little um, cross stitch I made, I made these. So these little hoops you can get at Hobby Lobby um, and they're right across from the floss, kind of up high on the, um, on the shelf or on the rack. And so I made them each a heart one to be on a floss ring. And then I stitched um, while Anna was here. So once they saw these, they were like, we need to stitch all, we need to make more of these. So I stitched a strawberry one. And then I had made myself 
a chicken one. Which one is it? This little crazy chicken right here. I love him. And so then um, Anna and Fiona, we all, we all stitch more chickens. So I put all three of these together. And again, just some felt on the back. You stick it through the hoop, stitch it, put it on here. And how cute is that for just floss rings? So we had a great time doing this too. So we, we were just making floss rings all over the place. So that was really super fun. So it was a really, really good week. And I'm so glad that Fiona was here also. And the three of us just got to spend some really good quality bestie time together. And then later that week, um, Fiona and I went up to Stitcher's Paradise again <laughs> to meet up with Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw. And she is just the sweetest. You know, we've known her forever on Instagram and she came into town and I'm so grateful that we got to meet up with her. So nice, so nice spending time with her. And yes, Fiona and I did. Um, again, I was like, I'll just get, we're not buying anything this time. And we told Michelle up there, we're, the, she is one of the ladies that works there. We're not buying anything this time. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> um, we bought more. I still was going through the stuff in the back and I found more patterns and I needed more floss, of course. So you can't go there and not spend anything. Um, so it was really nice to meet with her and have lunch with her and spend some time with her. And so, yeah, I have officially been to Stitcher's Paradise probably five times in the last three or four weeks. So I told Fiona, we are not allowed to go there anymore for like a month or two, like three months until Anna comes back in July. Like no more, we're cut off. Um, but so that's pretty much all that's been going on over here. Um, so we're gonna jump right into all my stitching stuff. So FFOs that I have finished. Um, this one is Stitch What You Love, and this was a freebie by Juniper Needleworks. And this is how I finished this one. So um, again, I took the, um, what is that? It's the, the tile and I painted it white. It's kind of hard to see, but, um, and then I kind of did the ink over it with the brown ink over it again. And then um, just mounted it. I have some white work rack and this amazing fabric that I love, which I'm gonna have to find some more. Um, it's one of my favorites, especially for anything that's just all red. And then um, this is just a frame that I got. It's just a wall decor. It said something on it. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I have just a bow, some twine, and a little red heart that I painted. So just a simple finish, but it's gonna go in here. So it adds a little bit more to my red, um, my red stitching over here. My next one was uh, that I finished is Stitcher. And this was by Luminous Fiber Arts. And here is my finish on this one. So this, it's like a little tiny tray. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was a little bit lighter wood. So it had a coating on it. So I did have to sand it a little bit to kind of scuff it up so I could stain it and the stain would hold on to it. Um, so I stained it just a little bit darker and I glued the buttons on with fabric glue and then um, mounted it on here. And then I, of course, I have the white rick rack on the outside because it just stands out better um, with the um, brown background. And then again, two little bows and a tomato button that I had. And so this was fun. This was fun to stitch, it was fun to finish. And so that also will go in here. Kinda gotta get my uh, display over here changed up a little bit. Okay. My next one was Hands to Work, Hearts to God, and this was by Little House Needleworks. So I did finish it finally. And this is finished on the clock, which I've done a finish on before, um, that came from Big Lots. Um, so what I did is I mounted it and I have um, some red gingham fabric in there and of course white rickrack. And then I just added two, uh, two bows and some twine and another painted heart. Because sometimes I don't, if you don't have anything else to go in the middle, I don't always want a covered button or I don't always have something, you know, so I just, I just paint the red little hearts, wood hearts to match. And I thought it was perfectly fine for this one. And this one actually sits in, um, I mean, my whole living room is 
farmhouse, but I do have a little display right by my stitching area. And I have that piece that goes there and I have my little piece pillow that I showed you guys last time. So that's kind of my, my little stitchy corner that has my, um, a little bit of my Sabbath um, inspirational stitching and the rest will go in my bedroom eventually. Okay, my last FFO is Made With Love and this pattern was um, by Salt and Pepper Stitching, Emily Call. And there is my finish on this one. So this piece, this spool, um, it came from um, Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm trying to tell my husband, and I was like, honey, it's, it was longer. I'm like, I need you to cut this down the middle and I need you to take like a portion out and just glue it back together and it will, and it will stay. And he's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he's like, it's not that easy, honey. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Sure it is. But he did, he did it. So he did shorten this portion of it. Um, and then he had to put some wood on the back to kind of reinforce it. <clears throat> and then what I did is I thought it was a brilliant idea, but and it was a lot of work. So this right here, the background is actually that color floss. So I took the floss and wrapped it around the entire thing. And it did take like eight skeins of floss, but that was my brilliant idea. And then Anna, she's like, that was a pain in the booty, wasn't it? I'm like, mm-hmm, yes it was. But that's what I wanted. I wanted to do something different. So then she is just um, mounted on sticky board with um, fabric. There is some pink rickrack and then some white rickrack. And then up here, I do have the little bows and I stitched a little spool that matched the red spool there and just stuck that as a covered button in the middle. And then um, I was showing her this. I'm like, it feels like it needs something on the bottom. And so I, she, I'm like hearts and she's like, yes, hearts. So we took, I took the hearts and I painted them all red, the darker red, and I stuck them on the bottom. So it kind of balanced out more. So I am happy with how this turned out. Um, so it's something different that you guys could do. I mean, it is a pain to wrap around, but if you go really super slow then, and just keep tightening it as you go, it will, it will work. So I absolutely love this stitch and I am happy with the finish. Okay, so those are all my FFOs. And I do have other finishes that I'm gonna share with you now. So when um, Anna was here, I wanted, um, I had talked to you guys last time about stitching red. And I did come up with a hashtag that we can put on Instagram and it's gonna be red work stitching. So hashtag red work stitching. So my plan is, to try to take a red piece and put um, some stitches into it every week. So I did the red brown sampler by heart and hand. Oh, some thread. And that is it. And this is super fast and I did use um, Schoolhouse Red and it is on 28 count light taupe. So that was a lot of fun to stitch. And it's super quick. And so um, my next one I'm going to start is Redbird Sampler. And I've had this for a while. So this is next on my red, um, my red plans. So, and yes, I'm using Schoolhouse Red. And this is the cute, this cute little, whatever this is. You know, just like those other things. <laughs> little thread bling, whatever. Um, I got this at Fat Quarter Shop. So that's where all my red floss will go on to. But again, if you want to join, I will post this and I will post the hashtag because a lot of people have asked. Um, so it's red work stitching. So I need to, yeah, I wrote that to put that in the show notes for you guys. Okay, I also was able to get done um, another Prairie Schooler from the Merry Mini Surprise. I've been trying to get one a month done. So this is the one I got done this time. Is that the one? Or is that the one I showed you guys last time? I don't know. It's been so long. But I did him too. So it's one of the two or the new ones that I've done. So yeah, two. I have two. So I'm trying to keep up on that. Um, this one was the um, Be Kind. It was by Kelly Stadola. So I was able to finish that. 
And there's that one. And this was just, um, I think I used, <coughs> I think I used 310 DMC and it is stitched on just white Monaco, which I'm almost out of too. And I, the Monaco, me and the Monaco and how stiff it is. I'm gonna be soaking it, trying to get it to work. Um, okay, another finish I was able to, I'm trying really hard since I didn't do any spring stitching, I've actually liked it because it's left time to stitch things because I wanted to stitch like stitchy thing things so that would go in here. I wanted to stitch stuff from my house, more of just stuff that's up all year round. But yes, I am going to go back to um, seasonal stitching. Um, but it's been kind of nice just to do these other, get through all these whips and these things I've really have wanted to stitch for a long time. So the next one was All Things Grow With Love by Primrose Cottage. And we we'll probably have to hold this up like this. I did finish this one. And this was on 28 count um, light taupe, which is the best color in the world to me. And I'm loving it so much. So this one is going to go in my bedroom. So I kind of changed things um, in my bedroom. I haven't, since we've lived here for three years and I've never really decorated it because I wanted it farmhouse, but now I've kind of changed my mind and I wanted it just a little different. So I will be showing you some stuff next, um, my next video um, of what I've kind of done in my bedroom to make it, I guess, more dainty. I'm sure my husband really appreciates the pink flowers everywhere, um, but um, he's it's it's more simple and he was like, no, it looks really, really nice. So he's okay with it for right now. Okay, another one I finished. I started, Anna and I both started this. I don't have the pattern because it was Fiona's and she let um, let me borrow it. But this is Stitch All The Things. And this is by Erica Michaels. So I stitched mine on 28 count um, white Monaco. And the color changes are inspired by Katie from Primrose Cottage. The only one I didn't, I changed the darker to a darker pink. Um, and I, I used all the other colors that she used because it's just, the colors are just bright and cheery and they made me happy. And so um, Anna did different colors, but this was such a joy to stitch. Loved it. Okay, my la uh, last thing I've worked on was, um, this is by Emily Call, Salt and Pepper Stitching, and she released Words to Live By. So I started with Have Faith. And so I stitched mine. Oops, see if you can see it. Well, this is mine. So I am also using, again, the 28 count um, light taupe. <laughs> and instead of the blue, Fiona stuck with the blue. And I had bought the blue. And I, it is beautiful, but I want these to go in my room. And since I am liking the pink a little bit more, I decided to go with the pink color. And when we were at Stitchers, um, I did pick out a pink. And I was like, I think this one's good. And then I started stitching it and I was like, it doesn't have any variegation and I don't like it. So I was like, let me dig through my floss. And I went with Classic Color Works House Wine. And it's perfect. It's got enough variegation. And so then I did have to go back in one of our mini trips and I bought some more, some more house wine. But I think this, I think it would be beautiful with any color fabric, any color floss, you just make it your own. And I do think I want to put them into pillows like she did. I just haven't quite decided that yet. But those are really fun. And so that was my Sabbath stitch. And you can stitch that pretty much almost the whole thing in one day, maybe day and a half. And then um, this is some old school. <laughs> so when Anna, whenever she comes, she goes through all of my patterns because I keep and save them. And then I, you know, I share them with her and then she brings them back. So she was going through, so I have like a bucket of stuff that hasn't been stitched. Um, most of my sti like stuff is in order, except for this box, this bin. And then I have like what I have stitched. So she went through everything and she was fixing everything and organized everything. And I was like, thank you. And then she found this piece, which I have stitched 
it's been so long. I mean, that's old. <laughs> I believe, I don't have the book. We couldn't find the book, which I probably lent it out. Um, I believe it's Stony Creek. And I mean, this is back when serious backstitching and like all these down here are half cross. Yeah, they're just half cross stitches. But I absolutely love him and I, com I completely forgot about him. And um, she's like, you need to like, this is, this is amazing. Like, why do you, have you not finished it? And I'm like, I completely forgot about it, but I do. I love him so much. I mean, this is probably, I stitched it 10, 15 years ago. So I am so glad that she found that. And I am going to um, put this in an FFO for Christmas. So yeah, sometimes it don't even, you know, it takes your best friend coming over and going through all your stuff and finds all these things that you never knew you had or stitched. And then I did have some other stuff that I stitched and <laughs> she was making fun of it. Uh, but we, we had a good laugh because, I mean, it was some old school stuff and it was funny. Um, so we had a good time going through all of that. Okay, let's move on to my whips. So this one is still in the hoop because I was working on it last night. And this is what um, I stitched two of them, one for F Fiona and one for Anna. And this is called Polette. I don't know how to say it, but it's by Madame Chantilly. And I stitched this one right here, the little pillow, because we all like chickens and it has to do with stitching. So that is what I have done. So all I have is another spool and then the little top part. So not much longer. And this is stitched on, oh, and here comes my dad. Hold on, you guys. Hey, Pops, I'm right in the middle of video. What's up? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Um, that was my dad. He actually was in the hospital um, um, a couple weeks ago before Anna came. And he's doing um, physical therapy to try to get himself stronger again. So the physical therapist was with him and um, I've seen all the exercises he does. So I, I told my dad, I'm gonna come out here and do my video while you do your physical therapy, but they needed to make another appointment. So my dad needed me to go in there. So sorry about the interruption. And he is doing, he is doing better. It's just very slow progress. Um, so if you keep him in your prayers for me, so I don't get so stressed out and worry about him. But anyway, back to stitching. Um, so yes, I am stitching. I stitched the little um, chicken down here. And this is stitched on 28 count mushroom Lugana. So I made one of these for Fiona and one for Anna. And it was a really cute little finish. So I, um, I after I stitched two, I'm like, I can't stitch another one right away again. So um, last night I picked it up and I was like, I wanna get this done because I found the box and I want to be able to um, have my box, you know, have my little box finish match theirs. So we all have one. Okay, um, my next one I started and I love this one. I've been wanting to do this one for a long time is Stitch Some Happy. And this is on white, 28 count white Monaco with my color changes, which I believe I shared in my last video. But if you have any questions, um, you can email me and I will give you guys um, the color conversions. But so this one doesn't is not going to take much longer either. And it does. It just makes me happy. I love all the bright colors. OK. Um, another whip that I've been doing is I started doing Hattie. I didn't do Florence, which I think was the second one. I skipped over that one for now. Um, it's because as soon as the pink chicken came, I was like, it's a pink chicken. I need to stitch this one. So that's my start on that one. And again, it's on the Barley Lugana, just like the first one. So I, I'm loving these. So I, I want to get this one done too. I kind of want to get these whips right here done before. That gives me like, what, a week? Um, so in April, I can start on other things that I have planned. Okay, and then my newest um, start is a market start. And I love this book, Between Friends by um, Hands-On Design. 
I love this pattern here so much. I know it's spring, but I think that you could keep it up all year round. The colors, I didn't change any of the colors. I kept everything the same. The only, um, I stitched mine on, of course, the light taupe, 28 count. And that's what I've got started so far. And I love it. It does, and I'm gonna tell you, it does take a little while because you are doing a lot of starting and stopping, but it's so worth it because it's just so cute. It just makes me happy. <laughs> so yeah, that was my very first, that's the one I knew I wanted for market starts. I knew this was the one I wanted to start first because it was my favorite. Okay, so those are all done. Oh, I knew those were gonna fall again. I'm trying to move this stuff out of the way. It's kind of a mess in here. And hopefully stuff doesn't fall. Okay. After, oh jeez. Okay. After whips. Um, and I only have a couple things of enabling. It's, it's just Target Dollar Spot has wood boards, cutting boards. Love them. Circles little long ones, and then a big long one. So I thought these are really, really awesome for um, finishing. If you're looking for something that's not expensive, um, they have these all there in the Target dollar spot. And I've had those for a little bit. Um, okay, let's go, I gotta bring my chair back over here, get back into the swing of things here. Okay, so before I get into haul and um, all of that, Anna, myself, and Fiona, we have, I kind of decided, because last year I wanted to stitch the strawberries, all the strawberries, which I never got to, um, because I was, what was I stitching instead? I think I was stitching a lot of patriotic and B-O-Bs. Last year was the Bs. So... This year, I decided, okay, I want to stitch strawberries, I want to stitch watermelons, and I want to stitch lemons. So, I was like, let's, how about we do a sow? And, um, because a lot of people like to stitch all three of them or just one or two of them, how about we do a sow and we're going to call it the fruit salad sow. So, um, we will post that on Instagram. So, that will be any watermelon, any strawberries, lemons, whatever fruit that you want to stitch that's like for summer stitching, um, then we would love for you to join us. And I'm going to share with you some ideas of or things that I'm going to stitch for all three of them. So I only have one watermelon, and this, this one's been here for a while, got torn up, but it's Sweet Summer and it's by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I mean, seriously, how cute is that? So that one is definitely in my pile for um summer stitching strawberries i found this one somebody had stitched it and they changed the colors and it's by threadwork primitive summer basket and so i am going to do her color conversion but i love the strawberries so that's one of my strawberry ones this one i this one's getting done strawberry house i want this is the first thing i'm going to do is i want to stitch this one so that's another one good for strawberries. The Berry Keeper by Brenda Gervais. I really wanna do this one too. Um, the Lizzie K Kate Quicket Flora Sampler has a big old strawberry. I just need to figure out a whole bunch of color changes on this one. It's so small and I'm like, it's gonna take me a while to figure out exactly what color changes I wanna do, but super cute one. We also have Country Cottage Needlework Summer Strawberries. So another really cute one to do. Um, in the Summer Band Sampler, which I love, some more strawberries. And cherries too. If you want to do cherries, throw them in there too. Because all of them I think are perfect for summer. Um, and this is Blackbird Designs Sweet Summer Come Again. I love this. So I definitely want to stitch that too. And then this one is a free one by Melissa from Pinker and Pumper Pumpkin Quilting and it's Strawberry Salt Box. So that's the pattern on that. 
So that gives you guys some ideas of strawberry stitching if you want to join with on that. And then, the, I think Alyssa and I were talking about the lemonade. I have done some lemonade and lemon stitching, like two of them, and I had a small display and then I haven't put it out the past couple years. But this year I have the coffee bar, so I was like, hmm, I really wanna stitch some of these lemonade ones because there's some really cute ones. So I am going to be, these are the ones I'm gonna be stitching. And this is Country Cottage Needleworks Make Lemonade. If you can see that, without the glare. So, I mean, and look at the colors, so pretty. So that's getting done. I also have Hello Summer by the housewives and i do have another one of theirs i just ha haven't printed it out because my printer is running low on ink um and it's the one with the little jars so i'm going to stitch both of those and then i have found this pattern it's it's been a while it says 2020 um it's sapphire i don't know sapphire men and crafts so it, this is a free pattern all you do is screenshot the picture and you can print it out so I screenshotted the color version and then the pattern. But if you go onto her, if you can read that up there, I'll leave it for a sec. If you go onto her Instagram account, she has this pattern. And I have had this sitting like in my pictures forever. And um, I definitely wanna stitch that also. And then my last two um, is Squeeze the Day by Primrose. The one, the thing I'm doing with this one different though, is her, their new one, the Fresh Lemonade. I'm gonna use these colors with this one too, so that they both match. So that gives you some ideas. If you wanna do strawberries, lemons, or watermelon, whatever one you like. Um, and I will, um, I would think probably April 1st, I will start this. I'm gonna put on here April 1st, because then um, that's when I can get my other things done by. And then um, I will put this posted on Instagram. Um, and would love uh, for all of you who want to join with us. And it'll just be keep going all summer. And I will be stitching Patriotic too um, here pretty soon. And I will share more of that in my um, next video. Okay, let's see, what else do we got here? Okay, let's get into, um, I did receive some stitchy kindness, so I wanna share that with you and maybe enable you to go visit the, um, these wonderful shops. So, the first thing, um, the peace pillow that I showed you from, who, bleh, which is, oh, I cannot talk today under the woolen willow so that was the etsy shop and thank you guys so much because she sent me a message saying that all of you <coughs> really went out there and bought um and purchased her um word of the year pillows so thank you so much for supporting her shop but um here are some other cute things that she sent me but look at how cute these little sunflowers are so she makes these too and they're bowl fillers you can just stick them in with like your cross stitch pieces or whatever you like. So cute. So thank you so much, Michelle, for sending these to me. And these are available in different colors and they are in her um, in her Etsy shop under the Woolen Willow. Okay. Um, and then another uh, stitchy kindness I got was from Starlight Stitching Company. And if you have not checked out, um, she's on Instagram, go check her out. Look how dang cute this is. So this is one of her um, little clutches and it comes with a little pair of scissors and then you open it up, I have her card in here, and you can just throw all your floss in there and snap it back up. And then here it zips so you can stick, you know, floss or something in here, right in the front part, let me see, right here. But then back here, there is another little opening so you can stick your scissors or whatever you want back there. So thank you so much. I absolutely love this. And I do have one. She sent me one to give away for you guys. So 
that will be today. You guys are going to get a chance to win one of those amazing clutches. Um, this little, um, again, I love these. I can never get enough. So Anna stitches with a group of ladies and, um, Chris came down here to Vegas and Fiona and I took her to Stitcher's Paradise. This is why I've been to Stitcher's Paradise so much this month, you guys. Um, and she sent me, uh, sent these with Anna as a little thank you. And these are all these cute little things too. Little charms that go on your floss, um, floss drops. I just, I can't get enough of these. They just make me happy. So fun. So thank you so much, Chris. I love them and appreciate them so much. And then we have my Denise from Dot Dot Goose. She knows I love my farm animals. And this is one of her new bags, the sheep. Look how cute they are. So cute. And then a little project pal that matches. So thank you, Denise. Absolutely love this. I'm running out of places to put stuff. In. <laughs> and then Chantel from uh, Chantel's 141, she sent me some pieces to do finishes on. So I cannot wait to get to use these for some of my projects. Thank you, Chantel, I appreciate it. Um, and that's pretty much my stitchy kindness that I've gotten. So thank you everybody who has sent me stuff. I really, really appreciate it. I don't expect anything, but when you guys send me stuff, it just brightens my day so much. So thank you. Okay, haul. You guys ready to be enabled? <laughs> <clears throat> So as far as market um, patterns, these are, I'm gonna show you the ones that are market ones that I bought. This, a Stitcher's Garden. I absolutely love this. As soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to stitch this. <clears throat> okay, so there is a stitch along for this pattern. It is with Simply Stitching Ocala, Jody. And then Stitchy Linda. And it starts April 10th or 11th. I can't remember. I wrote down 11th, but it might be the 10th. And the hashtag for it is a Stitcher's Garden Sal. So I will be joining them with this. I did pick out colors, um, but I might be trying the, uh, is it cause? No, the, I can't remember what kind of floss it is. The, um, they were subbing for it. It might be Cosmo. Whatever floss it is, it's, I've used it before and I, oh, color and cotton. And I have tried that before and it's so soft. It leaves no knots, which is, I am the queen of the knots. Um, so I am really super excited to start um, stitching this with them in their stitch along. So um, definitely go check, check out um, their Instagrams and you can find out more about this. So that was a market release that I got. Um, I also, I loved Stacy's Nash Pretty in Pink Pin Keep. I feel like my lighting's not super great today, but I am using all the call for floss, except for I think I might be, no, I think I might've actually kept the green. Loved it. Um, and of course I got the tiny, the new tiny town and the small little, um, one that goes with it. So I will be stitching it with the called for colors and I will, they made it, she made it so that you can stick this little girl in the town also, which is what I'm going to do. Um, so I, yeah, I got lots of other patterns. So I'm trying to find the ones that are market first. Okay. This one was by heart and hand also, and this is everyday things. And I love it. And it was stitched up at the store and it was so cute. So, cause I wasn't sure. I'm like, I don't know. I think I would have to change colors, but once you see it stitched up, it's amazing. I'm using the exact same colors. Okay. I also got the itch to stitch by, is it October? I can't read October house. Love. I will change the colors but I absolutely love it. So cute. Okay. And then of course, um, we all had to get Stacy Nash's spring chickens 
pin keep because it's chickens. So really cute. That was another market one I bought. Um, and that's just random floss. But while we were back there, um, these are just a couple things that I did find um, that I absolutely had to have. So here's another Lizzie Kate one, Faith. Uh, yeah, Faith. And then I love how they have the little bonus chart down there. So that can go into my Sabbath stitching. This is an old one, but it's bees and it's Lizzie Kate. So love that one. Buzz on in. Um, another Lizzie Kate, it's called Mothers. Love that one. And it came with, yeah, it comes with the little buttons. And then I'm just, I think, I was waiting for Anna or something, and I'm like, oh, let's go look through the or through the Teresa Coget. Was it just in the front of the store? I'm sure I've looked through this a million times. But seriously, how cute is that little witch? So I had to have her. Just planning ahead. And then in the back, I mean, there again, more Lizzie Kate. Home is where our story begins. And I would take out the water and make it and change those colors, but I thought it was a super cute little one. Um, and I've never seen this one. Lizzie Kate, what's it say? Work, pray, trust. So I got that one. And then I venture, oh, no, one more Lizzie Kate. A little Christmas one. That could be cute and made into an ornament. And then, yeah, I ventured into the heart and hand. And I found, I've never seen this, it's Red House Sampler. So cute. See, I like little samplers. I am, I'm, I am verging to the samplers, but they have to be little tiny ones. And then of course I, I never got this and I was like, why didn't I get this? It's a farmhouse and it's a bird and it's got a chicken and a little barn. So I absolutely needed that too. So that's all the haul I'm going to show you today. Um, I will have more, more for you next time to share, but this kind of goes with what I'm, you know, my plans are right now and what I'm doing. All right, that's haul. Okay, um, and the last haul I got, which is for my new Sabbath stitch, I am going to be starting All Who Hope, All You Who Hope by Sweet Wing Studio. And I love this one. I am going to change the colors and I'm stitching it, I believe on Mushroom Lugana. And I picked out some colors. Um, and I will, I don't want to give them to you now because I might change my mind on the blue colors and the green. So once I stitch on it and I know what I'm going to um, use permanently, then I will give you guys the color conversion. So I'm super excited for that one too. And that should be my new Sunday start this Sunday. Okay. That wasn't enough. <laughs> I think that's everything. Oh, also with Sabbath stitching, I did put... Um, I made a video and I posted it in my, um, our Facebook group. Oop. Um, and it, what it is, is I've shown you the Sabbath stitching, um, Sunday stitching that I have done. And I've also, um, given you guys some ideas of everything that I have collected, um, that maybe there's something that you want to stitch for the Sabbath stitching. So there's tons of ideas in there. It's in the Facebook page, um, group. Now Mitzi's, um, she, she's scratching at the door. I'm sorry today. Today is a catastrophe. Just bear with me. We're almost done, you guys. We have giveaways. <sighs> but the video is in there and I'm going to keep it in there. So um, if you want to join the, our Facebook group, um, it's called Stitching with Friends and I will put the link to it in the show notes. Okay, let's do some giveaways. <laughs> okay, so... For this week, um, I gotta think of a question, I don't even know. Oh, let's do, um, what was your favorite market release? Let's do that, because there was a ton of good ones this time, ton of good ones, there is every time. Um, so just answer the question, what it was or is your favorite market release? And then you're just gonna put what numbers you want to win. So number one that for the giveaways, you are gonna win the Lori Holt stitch cards, or a chance to win, and the cute little, um, I swear my brain today is just toast. <laughs> the, 
the, the keychain. So this is number one. If I was smart, I would redo this video, but I'm not going to, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, number two, you're gonna win the Florence chicken pattern, and you're also gonna get the cute little bee needle minder. So this is number two. Number three is the bee mine stackable or simply, oh, this is a simply signed series. And I just saw the welcome one and I'm really debating on that one if I wanna stitch that one, just maybe in pink colors to match um, maybe my room. But so this is number three. Number four is the January stackables. Number five is the February stackables. And this is all from Fat Quarter Shop, um, generously donated um, that they sent me. So thank you so much, Kimberly and Fat Quarter Shop for um, sharing that, all these things so I can share with you guys. Number six, you are gonna get three quilt patterns for our quilty friends out there. Number seven, you are going to get the spring um, stitch quarterly from Fat Quarter Shop. So here is the pattern. And it comes in this cute little bag. And you're gonna get fabric, the floss, and the cute needle minder, and the bags. You're gonna get the whole entire thing. That's number seven. And then last but not least, number eight, you are gonna win, uh, you get a chance to win um, one of um, Sweet Wings Studios' adorable clutches. And I, when she sent these, you know, one was for me and then one um, was to give away. And I kept it because I love this one just as much as I love the pink one, but pink's my color, so I chose that one. So one lucky winner is gonna get this. So thank you so, so much for donating this. Okay, that is it for today. I'm sorry, it was a hot mess with interruptions, but um, that's just life. And that's, it wouldn't be my channel if it wasn't. So anyway, um, thank you everybody for joining me today. Um, I hope you guys have a good few weeks. I am gonna try to be back in a um, less time than last time um, and uh, share more stuff with you. Um, but I hope you have a great few weeks um, and have fun stitching. I, asked, I think spring break's coming up and Easter's coming up. So I hope you guys all enjoy that. Um, and until next time, um, I love you guys and take care. Bye.